Welcome back and this is the WWW show. What is wrong with? It could be wrong with you, what's wrong with me, what's wrong with Africa here, what is wrong with every one of us. And my name is Ron Kerr and today I am with yeah, you already know it's the same thing as Africa and I don't care okay, yeah, whether she likes it or not. That is why I'm going to keep calling her. What is wrong with people trying to call you by what you do not want them to call you by? Does uh, that make sense? It makes a whole lot of sense, yeah, because it is cultural, it is value and then we have been lost in a lot of it and then I'm not going back on that. I want to stick to it and then... So sometimes when you call your name fully, it's really nice. Do you know what Ade really means? What it implies? We know what Do you know what implies. the acronym of Ade? Yes, we know what Ade implies. But call me Ade, call me Ronke. Ronke is just fine. Uh, well, I'm not going to leave that, but we're going to get into the show properly, as you already know. And she said, the WW show, meaning... What's wrong, wrong with? with? What is wrong with could mean that I don't care okay, refuse the Ade in her name. So that is definitely what is wrong with. <laughs> what is wrong with calling my name like Ronke? Why do you need to call it fully? Well, you stick to Ronke. <laughs> you Ade stick Ronke. to Ade Ronke. Yeah. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we have a lot packed in today. And before we get into today's topic. Yeah. I would, uh, there's something I saw online and like, I really want us to discuss about it before we get to today's topic. Okay. Now here it goes. A woman remarried after her first husband was arrested over wedding loan. Hmm? Gang, 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 gang. Why will you take loan on the first place? <sighs> Let me do it, yeah. Oh, she will like it, Bessie, bye. Okay, some people do not know that, uh, having to impress other people about who they are, mm -hmm. who they are not really, mm -hmm. is totally a wrongful act. Meaning that you do not need to impress anybody. The person that quoted, cut your coat according to your size, or cut your, your dresses according to the material in a very layman yeah. word, is basically right all the time. Damn. So, I'm, I'm totally against that because hmm. you shouldn't. Regardless, I don't know whatever happened would make it go wrong that you decide to get loan and go do your wedding. Wedding that you call other people, Lagbaja from the East, North, and all of them. They came, they ate, they don't know you collect loan. They don't know you're mm -hmm. going to be having a sleepless night. Mm -hmm. They don't know that eventually your wife we leave. So, because probably she didn't know. I mean, she probably did not know. She, she probably definitely did not, did not know. Yeah, so we're addressing is it right that she leaves or not? Ah, now that is a big issue. But my gender, now not do well for this one. And my gender, kudos to you. No. Leave the man. That, you, you, you guys went to. You went to the court here, yeah? you got married, yes. you go to the altar call and say, for yes. better, for worse, uh -huh. your gender not do well. Why you won't carry loan basically for my head? I'll come to contribute money for the loan. Who told you to borrow? Is Why would you borrow? Wedding? Did I send you a message to borrow? Because nobody told you to go and stack up huge amounts of debt and expect me to come and join my income with you and start paying for it. What if the man's income is low? Are we, are we considering that? Okay, now there are different versions of loan. Yes, yeah, yeah. It could be probably maybe if let's say like 1,000 naira and I ain't collect, but it, the loan can't don't, don't go to 2,000 to return. Yes. Yeah. My gender, it is totally wrong. It is not right. It's wrong. To impress those who you're not supposed to impress. If you want to impress anybody, it should be yourself, my gender. You can impress Please. the wife you want to get married to. Eh? eh now. That's I mean, why you go collect loan now. He's the bone of the bone, but not impressed to the extent that you can collect something that is bigger than you. So it is bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, on You can money impress, right? But don't stack up huge debt. The problem here is the debt. The woman has probably looked and said, ah, 
This one but, will take me like three years before we clear. Oh. Yeah, Let me run away. Running does not save any of them. It does save. For the rest of her life, yeah, she has already uh, captioned herself as a very, very bad person. No, no. Even in senior clients, I've heard of stories where uh, somebody suffering from cancer yeah. is about to die and has a huge debt. They go into something where they divorce themselves so that the debt does not roll over to the other person's head and still press on the person even after the person sick has died. It happens. People do these things. No, I think person, maybe I'm going to say this, maybe it might be quite very wrong. I don't know. Uh, does, when someone has cancer, does it affect every other organ of the body? No, it just kills that particular organ. That it actually affects. Yes, yeah, it kills sure? the organ. Wait, Google. I Let's ask Google. I think it kills the organ. It's supposed to kill the organ. Though. Does cancer affect all organs of the body, or just the affected organ? The affected organ. Mm. You see. Okay. So now. Okay. So let's take this. It is. Let's let's look at cancer right now. Okay. Of maybe the person one way or the other because they know that even though that person actually is going to die. Yes. You know through cancer. Yes. And then the husband or the wife they run into debt. There's nothing they can actually do. Mm -hmm. But I do not think uh, divorce is the right way to go. It's the right way so that if the other party, the person that is sick, dies, the other one will not like be grieving and struggling to pay off loans, right? So when that one now, now dies, what do you think the loan company is? Who do you think? It's a loss. They can't transfer the loan to another person because the person is dead and they really? already divorced. Yes, but if they are still wedded and the sick party dies, the loan company will still go after the marriage no person. No wonder gang lords don't do this because they don't want to lose. <laughs> because if you offend a gang lord, yeah, and you die, one way or the other, they can't find you, you get lost, they will come for the family. They will come for the family. Yeah. But under law, loan companies, right, they mm. need to follow the law. If you are divorced, it means nothing is joining both of you again. That means if they come and they be like, oh, the deceased took a loan from you, but the deceased is dead and the deceased has divorced me. I am not entitled in law to pay your loan or the deceased loan for them because we're already divorced, right? Okay, well, this person is not divorced, yeah. And then the man collected a loan to do weddings. That exactly. is what we are actually talking the about. The problem now is that yes. the loan is too much. Do you want to keep the gear? Gear come to enjoy inside husband's house. Oh, Miss Gender, eh? please. <laughs> <laughs> please, one way or the other, you guys always find a way to reach a balance. You left that man lonely after he has already impressed you and then did a whole lot to make sure that your family are well honored respected in the community you get person where no no we come from not to start and is conch up for your family and everything Read it, sir. don't yeah. rack up you don't get sense is that what you meant you go extra miles right we if we like you we've liked you you don't need to over impress right yeah. By impressed, that is why you're not divorced because you call it loan. No big deal. My gender, it is totally wrong. It yeah. is it's your fault, bro. That's it. it's your fault, man. It's his fault. I'm I'm going to I'm not going to blame you for this, but it's your fault. So if you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, that is just because it is absolutely what is wrong with yeah. you. It is. You it don't is. need a loan to do your wedding. Yes. Just Cut your coat according to your size. Okay. Whoever made that coat never goes wrong. They, they make sure that you need to be able you know, to cater for yourself. Be content. That is just the way it is. And then, you know, this gender, the F gender, F, F. We have multiple genders F. now. No, I'm talking about the F gender. 
Yes, okay. like the you F know, own. the F gender. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> they are not content. They, they are. They are never. Don't even go there. <laughs> don't. Anything is the Yoruba we call. They say, <laughs> "Igida, a year four. I kiss my. I close my kiss. That is just it. Igida, a year four. For me, right? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It happens like this, right? Nobody wants to start saving up money to pay up loans. So don't go over your limit, okay? A woman that likes you will like you, even if you are living under the rock, okay? And for this particular man in question, I don't know if you can see this, but what I have to say is, please try to pay up your loan, right? Uh-uh, like with the loan company. <laughs> have you worked in a loan company before? <laughs> Try to pay off your loans. I mean, I wish you happiness, bro. I wish you happiness. But please, try to pay off your loan. A man owing is, it's not good. It's not good. Mm -hmm.